Good noon, everyone. Welcome to Rose Garden Gems. I'm Gemma. It's 12.20 uh, noontime here in Lower Franconia, Germany. And today is June 21. It's actually the official start of summer here in Germany. I'm just making a break because I gathered some weeds and some um, loosened uh, leaves and uh, petals on the ground for the last um, I think two weeks ago I started um, collecting uh, all these pent blooms and deadheading and I was able to collect the first batch was eight uh, pails of this from my garden and then the second one was yesterday where I collected uh, 12, um, 12 um, pails of this spent blooms and all the loose things on the ground so a total of about 20 21 uh, buckets for the last uh, two weeks i collected for my garden for all the spent blooms from my rose from the roses In front of me is a very floriferous rose. It's incredible how she is holding up to the heat because we have a um, heat wave the last days, last week. Yesterday was still 34 degrees. Now it cools down a bit. We have 28 degrees today. But the next days we still uh, get some high temperatures and hopefully rain will come because I really need it. The garden needs it. The rain, we, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the rain will come soon. I'm watering every day. But look at this beautiful rose. It never ceases to create more buds and more flowers it's incredible i just and it's an o inspira inspiring this rose and even with the heat it did not lose its color this is chippendale another word uh, another name that is famous for this is uh, the Duchess of Cornwall and I think in some I think in in France it's it's called uh, no in UK no in France I think it's called uh, the music hall and this has look at this color it's a beautiful color for this high temperature it, it maintains its colors so let me smell this. Wow. You can, you can smell the scent of peach and the sweetness of a mango. So this is how beautiful and how fragrant this rose is. Especially this one. This is incredible. Look at that color. Isn't she lovely? Incredible color. Love it so much. Now this plant came out of the market a long time ago. It's, um, I think, was out in the market 2005 from a German rose growers. Rosen Tantau. So this is 
a beautiful rose that I can really recommend to each god to, to, to all the gardens. It's incredible. I I have I have to wake up every morning and just look at her beauty. Now another one is showing its beauty now, displaying its finest uh, pure color of white of of cream white and light pink. Look at this, it shines under the sun. Beautiful color. This is a hybrid tea rose. And it's called Sloss Eppenborg. And while I'm standing here, the smell, the fragrance of this. Wow. It's a, uh, this is one of my top uh, fragrant rose in my garden. Sloss Eppenborg. This is a French rose. The breeder of this is a French grower, a French rose grower called My Milan Mayo in French. Mayo International. Incredible. I cut her really short this spring and it uh, it was one of the late bloomers because I cut it late in spring. It's gorgeous. Just one rose you can put it in your vase or a vase and you can you can admire the beauty and the fragrance of this, especially in your bedroom. And look how elegant it stands. Another rose that I am really so happy to have in my garden, together with this Chippendale. So lovely together, look at that. Beautiful. Now, I love to sit in this area because aside from these beautiful roses, that's Heinz uh, Winkler. Another name is uh, Homage to Homage a Barbara. It's a French rose, also from Mayo. Look at this deep crimson red color. And you can see the lavender, glorious color there with white butterflies on it. And welcome back, the royal grafen Diana. Look at her, so beautiful from her, from this where I'm standing. That's from Cordes also a German rose grower and that's one of the Parfuma collection. It's one of uh, the most the most incredible rose I have in my garden. So Heinz Winkler is here. I am enjoying the sight of this. Very healthy leaves. Look at how lovely the leaves are. Very healthy, robust, growing upright and bushy. Lovely. I can see from here David Austin that's Jubilee celebration. And look at her. She's accompanied by this, um, what we call Slyakraut. 
it's just um, grown so fast the last days it's a very good combination for the rose there Leo Fair I will do some dead heading on her because she is slowly fading but still with grace and beauty and look how nice it is is it with the lavender and some bees on it the lavender opened the bloom snow lavender in english lavender in german very nice scent and i have here also growing nicely crocus mia and near crocus mia is this magical schmuck lily we call it african lily in english look how beautiful it is with the color stunning and crocus mia will soon come out now this one i just bought this i think last week this is freesia beautiful color and it matches with this petonia also lovely color of light yellow and green I love the color and here I've got a strawberry and this one I love this plant it's a good luck leaf we call it the clay it's a I got it from a friend it was just very small because every um, New Year, we can find, we can buy this in all stores, a small, um, we call it a clay plant, it's a sign of good luck for the year, very beautiful, it needs watering, it's very dry. And this is Elsie Kroon, I pruned her hard yesterday I cut some uh, stems because it was growing really high this is actually a climber but I just let it grow as a shrub rose now what I would love to share here are these raspberries Look at that. I was harvesting them already for five days. And every day I get this sweet, fresh raspberries. The name of this is Lucky Berry, where you can harvest it, I think, four months in a row. Look at this. Oh, it's not ready yet. They said you can easily harvest it if you feel it with your hand and it's easily removed from its... Look at that. It lo it's just easily loosened. So I got... Uh, this is just for one plant. And I've got a lot of this fruits because you know why i planted it like a rose in order to get a lot of shoots you have to plant it in um, uh, horizontal lines and then you get lots of shoots so so many and it keeps on 
uh, bearing fruits for the next three months. So this is now my, how my garden looks like after the two days of yesterday and the other day, 34 degrees, I thought the roses will die. I was really thinking of building up a shade for them, but you see, they are all surviving and look at this elegant very beautiful cordes rose this is grave and diana and this is one of the parfuma collection now this is an incredible scent now it's noon time so the rose the rose oil of this for sure, I'm now emitting some incredible scent. Yes. It's a mixture of different uh, scent there. It's hard to describe, but it's... I'm not an expert of a uh, different uh, fragrance note, but this has different scent, not only from old rose, but different kinds of scent. And she bear a lot of, she's carrying a lot of blooms now. And it's a solitary flower for each stem, incredible. Look at this color. She doesn't fade. The color stays even under the heat, under the high temperature. It doesn't lose its color. It stays like this. So, so beautiful. So this area, I like it very much. This one, is also a German rose. We have so many beautiful German roses. These are from Rosenthal. And look at this. Isn't that a beautiful um, option for wedding bouquet? That's lovely Rokuku. You can see the different colors there, shades of pink, cream white light green incredible look it's so lovely to look here now this is how it looks like and it's noon time now 20 28 degrees i water them every day some some roses did um uh, burn from the high temperature the last two days but these roses as you can see they are incredible and all the ones that I told you are mostly German roses somehow there is some uh, difference with an English rose and a German rose you have this kind of the character of durability in a rose it does not destroy it, it does not uh, whatever weather the texture of the roses are not destroyed this is one of my lovely um, favorite from David Austin look at this with this beautiful slyer crowd I don't know how do you call it, slyer crowd in English. This is Jubilee Celebration. Also very beautiful with its color and soft pink. 
different shades of pink and then yellow in the center. Beautiful. So guys, subscribe to my channel and I'll show you more of the magical moments here in my garden. I've prepared now for a um, special uh, rose garden tour where there is no talking, but I write some information about the roses. Uh, I hope you will look at them, check them out. And I'm happy to chat with you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.